that nothing else people have ever known. Greetings, Special Centurions, and welcome to our Adventurer Guild! This is a mercenary management tactical RPG in which you take charge of a guild of adventurers and boss them around as they level up, killing enemies, becoming more and more powerful and taking on stronger and stronger foes. It's been on my to playlist for some time now. But I never got a chance to play it up until today, so yeah, here we are. I really like the rudimentary JRPG anime type cartooniness style of the presentation of the game. It is quite rudimentary and basic in the way that it looks. It's kind of similar to Battle Brothers in that it has quite a basic look to it. But... That being said, there's a huge amount of depth to the tactics and um, character classes and abilities that you get throughout the game. So there's a lot of options, there's a lot of different ways you can play it, there's a lot of different strategies you can adopt. Uh, this is my first time playing it, so we're probably going to make a lot of mistakes, we're probably going to have to load a bunch, but I am going to be playing it on the hardest difficulty in the truest Special Caesar fashion. So, without further ado, I suggest we just dive in and see what the game has to offer, shall we? Difficulty hard. Be prepared to lose adventurers. I'm never prepared to lose adventurers, but we probably are going to lose quite a few. Enemies have 20% more hit points, physical and magical attack. They have 20% more attack, basically, as well, and also 10 more accuracy. We're not going to do Iron Man. There's no way we're doing Iron Man on my first playthrough on the hardest difficulty. Hell no, that is just stress in a bucket. That's an Iron Maiden, that is. So let's go. <laughs> Happy Saturday morning to everyone watching. Thank you for joining me. 
And of course, as always, a huge shout out to all my regular viewers and subscribers. You guys are friggin' awesome. Thank you so much for your love and support. Let's get it going for this series. If you're enjoying it, if you're having a good time, be sure to smash that like button to show me that you want to see more. And we'll get a nice long series out of this one, I think. So let's see what it has to say. Dear friend, it has been a long time, hasn't it? I always thought about writing to you, but I've never found the courage to do so. How ironic that my very first letter to you would also be my last. Oh no, what's happened? Drama! Because of the, by the time you see this letter, I will already be dead. Friend, I have a favour I want to ask of you. It's about the Adventurer Guild. So the writing in it is actually pretty decent, as far as I can tell. Uh, I've only read this little bit. Uh, I did start a game just to make sure it was running and get an idea of the graphic, um, not the graphics, the uh, mechanics, and to read through the help log so I've got an understanding of the game's uh, different stats and how they all work and stuff so I don't have to spend frigging ages at the start of this stream just reading through the rules. Anyway, my original point was that it does look like it has pretty interesting uh, writing. It's a bit goofy, it's a bit wacky, it's a bit out there. But if you get into it, it's got charm and it has personality and it's kind of quite cute, uh, cutesy and funny, I think. But yeah, it has been difficult the last couple of years. I have to admit in shame that we have been struggling and I'm afraid of what will become of the guild now that I'm gone. I fear that without the right leadership, it will cease to exist. That's why I want you to become its new guild master. I'll get straight to the point, shall I? I know it might be selfish of me to ask this from you, but I ask you as your friend, as someone who you considered you family. Please don't let our dream die. Former guild master of the Venture Guild and your old friend, Fran. See, that is a very charming, very well-written introduction that just goes straight to the point, gets you right into the story, and... Um yeah is just a, a well written uh, introductory piece I think in my opinion <laughs> you got us lost several times when we had to pretty much run from every encounter we came across. <laughs> so funny. We haven't been adventurous for long. You didn't really show our best side so far. No, you didn't. <laughs> uh... Pretty, uh, they don't, good looking person. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Can't tell if a guildmaster is male or female. What are you talking about? Of course it's a. Uh, uh, ah, see, you can't tell either, right? I have an idea. Guildmaster, I noticed we never called you by your name. I kind of feel bad about it. It makes everything so formal. Technically, I'm your boss, so that seems just right. <laughs> Yes, yes, of course. But it just doesn't seem right if we don't at least know your name. So could you tell us? Well, it's going to be Caesar, isn't it? Obviously. I guess there's no harm in that. It's Caesar. Caesar, ah, I see. Of course, of course. You still can't tell, can you? No. <laughs> you think it'd be awkward if to ask him now? What do you think? For now, let's just keep rolling with it and avoid the use of pronouns. Uh, so it's very uh, woke, this game. It's already up to date with the present uh, situation. Socio-economic socio situation of the UK. I guess the world at large, maybe. I don't know. If you're done whispering, I have a suggestion to make you whispering whisperers. As you said, you're still capable of learning, but I do want to reach the Guild of One Piece, so here's my suggestion. For the remainder of the journey, let me take charge. I used to be an adventurer for more than half my lifetime, and I'm sure that I can bring the best out of you, as I am a general of the Imperial Legion, the Special Centurions. 
I don't think any of us would have any issues with that. Good. Then follow me, man. Follow Caesar. So, what were their names again? Pretty sure they told me. Also pretty sure they told me their life stories and traits, which is kind of weird to tell a stranger. Maybe I'll find that info on their character pages. See. Okay, so this is what I've already read through. I've already read through all this. I skipped all the introductory stuff, and I read through the tutorial, so I wouldn't have to... I wouldn't have to do that on stream. Um, I'll explain the mechanics as we go along, rather than reading all, th all through this. Or letting you through it, but it's got loads of really cool stuff. There's a bravery system. It's got sneak attacks like uh, D and D. It's got roll twenty. It's got D twenty rolls, similar to D and D. Um, yeah, it's got leveling up and classes and traits similar to Battle Brothers. So if we go into the character sheet, this is these are the three characters we have to start with. It's like Battle Brothers in that you're given three random bros who have random traits that augment their attributes and abilities. And they also start with stars in certain uh, statistics, which increases their likelihood of increasing the value of that stat when they level up. So it's, there's loads of really cool leveling up mechanics to it and loads of depth to the characters and what you can get. You can get really good characters or you can get really bad characters depending on their traits. This guy is, so he's rank copper of his current class. You can increase their ranks by completing um, social quests from the tavern. Uh, his class is defender. So this is the class, defender. Class description's down here. I've already read it, but feel free to read it while I'm going over it. Class equipment shows you what weapon and armor they use. It shows you the unique skills. Shows you the camping skills they come with. And then it shows you what bonus stats they get. And then down here it shows their stat growth. So they're going to get loads of endurance, loads of strength, and quite a decent amount of willpower. But they're not going to get much dexterity, intelligence, or wi uh, wisdom when they level up. <laughs> uh, and then here, are the this is the skill tree of the defender. Every single class has its own unique skill tree with different skills that you can choose to level him up. So you can choose to make him more tanky and defensive with shield training. I guess you can make him offensive with stuff like charge and yeah, different abilities that do different things. I haven't read through all of the skill trees yet because I wanted to leave that until we were actually leveling characters. So that, that, that way we could actually rename some characters hopefully. I'm not sure if you can rename or not. I haven't gotten far enough into the game. Um, to see if you can rename them. Maybe you can when you get to the guild. I'm not sure yet, but at the moment you can't rename anyone, which is a shame. But, as I was saying, we'll hopefully be able to just choose and, and make some characters together. Anyway, so this is our defender. He's a basic sort of tank and sword and shield, shield and sh sword and board character. He's got 47 health. He's got really good endurance and everything else is average. He's got talent. Growth in this attribute is boosted by an additional 30%. So willpower. Uh, he's not that... Yeah, he's fine as like a tank. But he's not really much of a leader. He needs higher bravery than that. Healthy body. 30 endurance growth and plus 1 endurance. That explains why he's got good endurance. Determined. 20 willpower growth. Always starts a quest confident. That could be good. That could be really useful, I suppose. If it's like confident in Battle Brothers. But unfortunately, he's clumsy. Actually, that's fine. His reduced accuracy doesn't matter because he's not going to be much of an attacker. He's just going to be a blocker. His reduced dodge doesn't matter because we're not going to use dodge on a heavy knight. We're going to use block instead. Because if you look here, his dodge is 4. His block is 20 already. Whoa, 20 block. That's really good, actually. Yeah, having that... I haven't seen block... It was 5 on my other tank. Bloody hell. Okay. So this guy's a really good tank. <laughs> um, yeah, I really wish we could rename them. It's a shame that we can't. Hopefully we will be able to later. Then we got Mai, who's a mage. It even has a biography for them. Each each one of them is written up as a like a little background story for them if you want to read it, which is quite cool. Uh, she's got good intelligence, which is what you want on a mage. And she's got talent growth and wisdom as well, which probably can't hurt. She's bright, which is increased intelligence and intelligent growth. She's arrogant, so... 20 willpower growth, 20 minus 20 
Holy shit, her bravery is through the roof. So she's going to gain a lot of battle power, battle points, which are used for special abilities. Oh, she's even got the shining gun. Oh, that's why she's scarred. She's got plus 15 bravery. That's why her bravery is so high. Minus 10% hit points. So she's super squishy, but super brave. And arrogant. Oh, plus 10 bravery for arrogant as well. Yeah. She's a bit naff then, actually, all in all. Most mages come with bright, so that their intelligence is good. That's what you want. But reduced wisdom growth is bad. Reduced dodge is bad. And you don't really want bravery on a mage. Bravery on a mage doesn't really do much, as far as I can tell. So she's super squishy. She's got less hit points and less dodge and less wisdom for spells. But she's really brave, which doesn't really mean much on a mage, as far as I know already. I'm not sure. And then finally we have a ro- Oh, we've got to check her class. Mage. Weapon and armor. Mage is a versatile adventurer, so you can use a wide variety of skills to deal with any situation. Their low health and physical resistance make them very susceptible to physical damage. Yeah, so they're low health, and she's got even lower health. So, exactly, wisdom. You want wisdom, intelligence, and a bit of dexterity to dodge with them, but her wisdom is hampered by the fact that she's arrogant, so that's going to be a bad... Um, she's not a great mage, but it doesn't matter if we lose her too much. They've also got camping skills like uh, Darkest Dungeon. So when you're exploring a map area, you have to camp. You get exhausted and tired. You have to camp. And when you camp, each of your characters have a number of camping skills that can be used based on how many camp points you have. It's really cool. Magic Ritual for Protection. A character performs a magic ritual to grant the whole party 20 resistance against all enemies for three encounters. That could be useful. Restore an additional 20 SP, okay. Oh, encourage, yeah. There's also relationships in the game, like Fire Emblem. So as your characters journey together and battle together, they form relationships with one another, which gives them buffs and bonuses according to how good the relationship is and what the nature of the relationship is and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, there's loads of depth to the game, and it's it just looks a bit charming and simple, but the battle combat looks really challenging as well. So yeah, this could be a lot of fun, guys. Okay, so we've got strength and increased... Uh, sorry, we've got increased talent and strength on that. We really want dexterity for a rogue. Dubious upbringing. Yeah, they us rogues usually have dubious upbringing, so that's good. Pessimist. Permanent mood debuff. Ugh, that sucks but loves pain. Uh, okay, so character recovers battle points whenever they get hit in battle but suffer 10% more damage. So she's basically, yeah, a bit even more squishy, which you don't want as a rogue. Hopefully she won't get hit. She's got plus 30 endurance growth, which is nice because she'll get a bit more health. But and maybe that'll be really good. She'll get loads of health and then she'll get like dodge. She has really high dodge, basically. 11 dodge, so she'll never get hit, in theory, if we keep pumping dodge. So she'll get... Yeah, that, that's the plan with her anyway, but I don't know if these are good combinations on rogues. Rogues are adventurers who don't fight fair. They can use skills which impose debilitating effects on their enemies or can get themselves out of harm's way, but by comparison, they aren't as resilient as other frontline warriors. So their unique skills is a sneak attack. Skills with a tag concealed on them deal an additional 30% bonus damage if one of the following applies. Another ally is adjacent to the target, which is the same as D&D. &D. The target is either stunned, frozen, exposed, blinded, sleeping, or staggered, or character is hidden in the target, doesn't have true sight. So in the game on the battle maps, you also get uh, height advantages and bushes that you can hide in. If you're hidden from the bushes, you obviously can't be targeted until you make an attack that round, same as Battle Brothers. If you're on height, you have an advantage to attack and a disadvantage to being attacked, which is really good. Okay. Why she got this willpower? Uh, okay, her willpower is pretty good. Her dexterity is pretty good as well. So yeah, she might actually turn out to be a good rogue. And then again, you've got items. We've got a shovel. Um, 
yeah, items, that's their armor. Five hit points, uh, 20 initiative. Okay. Alright, interesting. These are her skills, so she's got Quick Slash. The Rogue has Quick Slash. Feel free to pause it, guys, and read through this. I've already done so, so I know what they do. Uh, throw Knife. The really cool about Throw Knife, if you notice at the bottom, it says, If target is executed, which I guess means if the target dies, uh, you apply, you recover two action points, so you can go again. So if there's a bunch of enemies on low health nearby, you can just keep throwing knives at them. Or you can throw two knives, basically, I think. So you get four AP. As long as you don't move, you get four AP. It takes three AP to throw. You'd get two back. That would leave you with another three AP. Uh, so you could throw two knives in one turn if you didn't move, which is really cool. Artery strike makes bleed. Makes the enemy bleed. Pretty standard. Uh, this is the formation. Obviously, we want... Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that, actually. I don't want anyone in the front row. I want just an entire line of people. Relationships. This is the relationships uh, sector. Obviously, we don't have any relationships yet because we don't have any... We haven't started. Uh, that's that. Relationships, yeah. Same as... Uh, same as um, what's it called? Fire Emblem, essentially. But you get little skits and... Um, events based on what they do so there's a character oh these are inventory this is the map so this is the map of the area at the moment it's just one big long oblong uh formation and uh, this is our quest log <coughs> get 400 xp for doing it so you move around like this on the thing and there's little there's uh you come across you come across enemies for one thing but you also come across uh, items that you can collect and things to salvage and stuff like that <laughs> why don't you come here and say that to my axe oh they look pissed now guild master no worries I still think you can take them on there's three of them there's only two of them there's three of you you should be fine let them come to you first and try to use the environment to your advantage. How do you wait? Is there a way to wait? I think it said there was, but I don't know if you can after you've moved. Oh, uh, so you can't move and then wait like you can in Battle Brothers. You have to wait first. So I thought you could move and wait. And it's not like Battle Brothers where you can... Um, you've got four, four action points or nine action points to use and then it takes a certain amount to move. You have one movement point and with that movement point you can move once up to a maximum number of your movement in squares. So she has three movements. She can move three squares in any direction. I just used that one movement point, so now she's got no more move for this turn. I mean, she has three yellow pips, which she can use for an attack. So we can't do anything, we're just going to end it. I shouldn't have moved her forward, that was a mistake, I think. Uh, again, here, so this is the green movement. Uh, we can either delay, which I think we will. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved her forward. That was really stupid. charge can't do anything so end turn this guy's turn now he's gonna move one this guy is one two three, so one, two, three. yeah I think I need to move all the way up now we'll be able to magic missile him yeah Caitlin's going to go get some berries. Get her health back. That's her turn. 
Oh, good block, son. Uh, there's also no uh, attacks of opportunity in this. You can move around freely however you want. So he can move up to there to get the increased accuracy and then attack this guy. Without it causing him any issues. This guy can hide in the bush. And then do an attack on him. Magic missile or lightning bolt. I haven't actually checked what the damage is. 7 to 9. 9 to 13. 10 to 12. So this is... Uh, moves one tiles in what moves one tiles into the chosen direction or until interrupted what does that mean don't actually know what that means oh I see so you can push them that's so cool so it's got push mechanics as well you can push enemies into things You can push enemies into each other, you can push enemies into objects, and you can push enemies into allies. If you push enemies into the, an ally, he's got a certain percent chance of um, chaining, of hitting him in return. See, it says chain 5% above my guy's head. That means he's got a 5% chance of hitting, getting an attack off and taking no damage if you push this guy into him. That number goes up the better the relationship between the two uh, figures, the person who's attacking, the person who's receiving the, uh, the, the push. Once these two relationships get higher, that chain number would go up and he'd have a much higher chance of getting an attack off and not taking any damage. So once their relationship's really good, it's a really good way of killing enemies and getting free attacks, just pushing them into your, into your troops. Lance, what's up, my man? Yeah. You too, my friend. I, I know, I've been terrible. I really do apologize. Um, for the moment, we're just going to push him this way. Oh, it killed him. He got a crit. Okay, cool. No problem. Um, yeah, I know, I've been terrible with streaming. I do apologize. I hope you're well, though. How are you? It has been too long, hasn't it? Right, we're just going to run up and gank this guy. I think we want to stun him. We we're going to shield bosh him. Oh, it missed. Fuck. I was supposed to stun him. Oh, can we do it again? No, you can do block, but that'll be even more SP. I don't want to waste all his SP, so. That's annoying that I missed, and we wouldn't have taken any damage there. Yeah, we wouldn't have taken that seven damage on the mage if that fucking guy had stunned the one I could told him to. Little dick. That's because of his accuracy, probably, so. Oh, another miss. Come on, guys, get it together. No need to apologize. I'm well, uh, trudging along and surviving slowly, but surely living the best life. Great, mate. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, I should have moved him to here, but I, did, I didn't do that in time. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Lance, I'm. S oh, another miss. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's the log? Fucking hell. 77% hit chance. Oh well, he's going to get another shot off and kill the mage, probably. This this is really bad start. I might have to restart already. I don't know how it works. The only person hitting this dummy is the fucking mage. Run and hide. <laughs> I'm good, mate. Thank you for asking. I'm all good. I finally dropped back to part-time hours at the job that I work at, so... I'm able to pick up streaming a lot more now. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, looking forward to getting back into it, my friend. 20 gold, take all and continue. So yeah, that was a really bad start. The mage is basically fucking dead already. Because these two idiots missed their attacks three times. 
Okay, so this is the attribute check. This is the D20 roll I was talking about, like Dungeons and Dragons. You have to uh, roll a D20. If the number you combine with your modifier is greater to or equal to the difficulty that you pass, then you pass, just like in D&D. So yeah, no need to explain that. We are difficulty 15. You can use a shovel to remove the obstacle. Difficulty 15, current highest modifier 6. So I need to roll an 11. That's about a 50% chance, slightly under. 45% chance of me succeeding. I don't want to waste the shovel, so we're going to try and roll. Come on, baby! I failed. Oh, you lose vigor. What's vigor? So I lost 100 Vigor instead of uh, spending that shovel. Was that worth it? I don't know. What's Where's Vigor? What's Vigor? That's a new... That hasn't been explained to me. What? Help! Vigor, Vigor, Vigor. Tribute checks. No. Okay, I don't know what Vigor is in this game. I've, no, I've read through the entire tutorial and I don't remember it ever mentioning Vigor. So we'll have to keep an eye on that chat and we'll try and work out what it is. I don't know what this is. 391 out of 576. Oh, I think that's our stamina. Glad your workload is manageable with your workload. Yeah, I know. I'm so happy that it's, um, it's I'm, I've altered it, basically. Yeah, I've gone back to a much better ratio of work-life balance, so I'm able to enjoy my hobbies and interests a lot more again now. Like Call of Cthulhu on Tuesday nights, we have started or resumed our sessions. I'm keeping again. Going to be doing that every other Tuesday. We started one last Tuesday, or this Tuesday, gone. So if you want to check that out, feel free. It's on the channel. And yeah, also other things like these streams. Vigor, please. Vigor equals stamina. Quite possibly it looked like it. I think there's that yellow bar at the top. Space is full of resources we can collect. Collecting resources is an important part of adventuring. We can use them to make our own potions and equipment. Try to always collect all the resources if possible. Sometimes you might not have enough space in your inventory, so try to prioritize what to bring back with you. Okay. Yeah, I think that's here. So this is going down, as you can see, as we move. So I think that is, uh, like you say, Vigor. In which case, I know where to find it if it is. Options. No, not options. Uh, help. Uh, I think it would be under ending a day. No. Bravery, death, height, sneak attacks, not about you. Camping, perhaps? No, that was what we just looked at. Yeah, it doesn't mention vigor. I think it is, though. I think this is vigor. It just hasn't been explained in the tutorial. Anyway, let's uh, collect all the wood. Oh, I missed that wood. Resources, resources, ransack the place, fellas. Leave nothing un... not nailed down. Whatever this end is. Oh god, Boar discharged us. Holy shit. Damn it, now we're getting attacked by wild monsters. Beware of that dire wolf. It's a quick fella, and I reckon that at your level you will have a hard time hitting it. <laughs> do you have any tips? I do believe in yourself. <laughs> any other tips? I'm being serious. I've seen you fight. You're all stronger than you think you are. R really? Yes. I've hardly seen anyone as talented as you lot. No, that's a complete lie. Now I'm lying through my teeth to the soldiers. Oh, God. Now get out there. I'm sure you'll be able to defeat those monsters. <coughs> yes, Guildmaster. We will not disappoint you. 
They really bought that. This whole Guildmaster thing is going to be much easier than I thought. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah. Bravery. Yeah, I remember. So, bravery. Heroic hit. BP cost 10. Increases accuracy for the next skill by 30 for each stack. The hit chance can reach 100%, overriding any effects that might otherwise limit the maximum hit chance. So basically, you can keep stacking heroic hit until your hit chance can't miss. That's good. That's interesting. Um, can I rotate the map? I pressed Q. Is there any way to get rid of the trees? Yeah, there we go. Get rid of the trees, please. Increase the battle speed. It says reset camera. Does that mean there's a way to... How do you... Oh, you can reset camera back to your soldiers, not like rotate the camera and stuff. Okay, I see. Cool. This game is an early access. I, kind, I couldn't find a wiki or anything on the game for something like a glossary. Yeah, I know. It's an early access, like you said, mate. I'm surprised it doesn't have more on it, though. Like, it's, it's quite a small title at the moment, which I'm hoping to get more people interested in it. Because it looks really cool. I want to, I want to help the developer uh, get some exposure. Oh, look. We have height advantage here as well. Oops. Cancel. I keep needing to rotate the map. Can we... Okay, so this is all one tile up, is it? Between there and there. Is that like one tile difference? So I want to... Yeah, it does. You can see it go down there. Yeah, that's cool. No, he can just move up and attack. So we want to go here. We want to hold this ground. Oh, we wanted to wait, really, ideally. And let's start. Can I restart? Is there a way of restarting the... No. There's no way of restarting the battle. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. So X and Y is what does it. That's what I was looking for. So Y, that shows you the very bottom layer that they're on. And then X brings it up and shows you the top layer that we're on. Cool. It really looks sleek. It reminds me of Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, or Ogre Reborn. Tactics Ogre Reborn or whatever the game is. You're absolutely right, it does. Uh, just a bit more cartoonish, but I really like the look of it. I really like the idea of the mechanics. I'm really liking everything it's thrown at me so far, so I'm hoping this is going to be a super good, super long playthrough. You're going to go and get um, those berries because you need them. Oh my god, I didn't know he could do that. Oh fuck! Oh my god, that's a bad start, isn't it? Resisted the bleed. Oh god! <clears throat> He's only got 5% chance of getting a chain. Uh, let's do that and push him down the hill. And then go and get the berries. Can you interact still, or does that take an action point? That takes an action point. Okay. Uh, you can move forward to engage him and just attack him. What's his bravery thing? Heroic kid. Oh, okay, so it's the same for all of them. They've all got the same bravery skills. I gotcha. Well, this isn't going to go well. This, this wolf's going to come out and just wreck someone's day. Ow! Oh, thank goodness he resisted the bite. Oh my god, Garrett's being double teamed! Uh, Q for the... No, not Q, sorry. Oh, grab the fucking... Do I grab the berries or make an attack? We have to make an attack here, I think. We can't fuck around. Oh, that did a fuck ton of damage. Apparently magic is really good against that, the dire wolf. Okay, good to know. Do we go for the die wolf or the boar? I think we go for the boar. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. I meant to get rid of the fucking trees. Thank you. Uh, we want to bleed him, or do we want to do a normal attack? 
critical 20% chance on a normal attack. Uh, let's bleed him because he might die to the bleed. Right, he should die to the bleed now. He's got three turns. Bleeding three for three turns. How much health does he have? He's got one hit point, so he'll die. Okay, good. So you can't do anything else. You move there, so you've got height advantage and attack the direwolf. Yeah, only 57% chance to hit. What about a shield bash? 67% chance to hit. That won't kill him either, so ideally I want to shield bash and stop him mauling and killing someone. It miss. Oh good, it miss. Oh well. Okay, luckily he's a dumb dumb and he just attacked the tank. Again, he just attacked the tank. He got the crit though, so that could have easily killed us. Uh, I don't want to waste any more SP on this guy, so just do a normal attack. Fifty-seven percent chance to hit. Fifty-seven percent chance to hit and bleed as well. So we'll go for the hit and bleed just in case. Got him, motherfucker! It was a crit as well. Hoo wee That was close, chat. That was close. <laughs> oh, nice. We got his skin, chat. <laughs> Little fuckers, we're running off with your flesh. We got the boar liver as well, and we got a monster blood. Cool. Take the berries, you fools. Go and eat the berries. You need health. Good work, everyone. At this point, you're all probably exhausted. We should camp now to get you some rest. It's important to always know when to take a break and recover. So we can either camp or we could move forward a bit. They're not exhausted. The exhausted thing appears up here. So I'm going to collect. I'm just going to collect these. Um, Go and collect this stuff for a bit first, and then we'll camp in a minute. There's going to be another encounter, isn't there? Yeah, I can see. Okay, we're going to camp because I need the rest. Just move here and we'll camp because I need the healthy then, is what I'm trying to say, and SP. Kalen's out of SP. Ambush chance 0%. Remaining supplies 6. We'll have a hearty meal. It's 30 HP. Yeah. Yeah, we need all the health we can get. So we're going to use the remaining supplies for a hearty meal. Let's collect, select character perform an action. We've got 6 camp points. Cool. Uh, first aid, polish armor. Yeah, he's going to polish his armor, I think. If he's got full mana, don't want that. Don't care about that. Uh, yeah, we're going to first aid each other. First aid him. Don't need that. Don't care about that either. So you're going to first aid yourself. Uh, you're also going to... Oh, that's... Oh, I see. That's the number of points that it costs. I got you. I thought they were one each. That was stupid of me. So I've got two left. I was going to polish his armor. Oh, well. Well, I've got two. Oh, but it's been used. Okay. So I can either stand... Gun no, that's a complete waste of time. Encourage or meditate. There's no point meditating. Uh, you can encourage the knight to get some of his battle points back. That's it. Let's rest. Has anyone seen my sandwich? I left it here somewhere. Uh-oh. Munch, munch. Oh, you mean this one? Didn't know this was yours. Well, whose else is it going to be? You just gained an enemy for life, Garrett. Uh-oh. That's not good. Wake up, everyone. We still have work to do. Shut up, sandwich man. Okay, yeah. There's a boss fight. Damn, there are even more bandits ahead and they're blocking the road. Does that mean we have to fight our way through? Not necessarily. Not everything has to end in a fight. We might have other options depending on the situation. Let's see what we can do. Hey, cool. Is there going to be like a... 
Yeah, there's an event. Is there going to be like a persuasion check or something? Like persuasion skill or something you can level up? Let's find out. This is really cool. I'm really loving this game so far. Ahead of the adventurers were a group of bandits blocking the road. It seemed like they were waiting for their next group of victims. The adventurers could see that the bandits slightly outnumbered them. A fight was therefore not in their best interest. The party remembered what their guildmaster said to them and started to think about alternate ways to get past them. Try to intimidate the bandits to let the party through. Strength 12. Have one of them try to lure the bandits away. Dexterity 12. Pretend to be bandits. Intelligence 12. Or attack the bandits. I think I'm just going to attack the bandits. I want the uh, experience points. I want the uh, loot. And as there's only three bandits, as long as one of them isn't like a boss, uh, I think we can take them, no problem. The adventurers put their heads together for a solution but couldn't come up with a creative solution to their problem. What? Yeah, <laughs> that's a weird sentence. I don't know why, it just read weirdly in my head. They just shrugged their shoulders and did the one thing they knew how to do. Kill! Good work, men. They charge at the surprise bandits, yelling and starting a fight behind them, behind, leaving behind their guild master, can only face palm in response to their actions. <laughs> okay, so there's four of them, not fucking three of them. We've got height advantage, and we've got berries to heal, and we've got a rock to hide behind, and we've got a, bear, a bush to hide in. We've got so much advantage here, but I reckon this archer's going to go up here. This archer's going to go up there. That's going to be a fucking nightmare to deal with. Let's find out. Uh, just wait. Spacebar. 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 Okay, yeah, just charge up and deck this one. Make it bleed, lady. Good work. Finished. Can you magic missile anyone from there? No, so... I'd really, I like you in the bush, but... They're all the same range. Oh, this one's slightly longer. That's interesting. So Lightning Bolt has an extra range. Good to remember that. Does this do anything like slow or... No, it just does ice damage. So the Earth Spike pushes. The Fireball just is a normal attack. Okay, so the Earth Spike pushes and the Lightning Bolt has one extra range on it. That's good to know. So in that case, I can move up behind this rock, stay hidden, then Lightning Bolt this fucker. Yeah, do it. Powie! And you're, of course, going to charge into the bushes. Uh, and shield bash this guy to stun him. Uh, and, uh, good block, good block, Garrett, good block. Uh, go for the attack on this guy. Oh shit, these crossbows are going to be a problem. Uh, oh, eliminated. Good work, son. Or mal, lady, woman, whatever. You know what I mean. Um, you're just going to move up and get the archer because he's, he's the one causing you damage. Oh, miss. Come on. Sort it out, Kaylin. Needed that to hit. Uh, go for another attack. We can't just hit. Oh, he blocked it. The bastard. Could be in trouble here, guys. They got a crit and we missed. And now that's going to hit. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're in so much trouble. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked them. Oh, come on. The fucking misses are killing us. So it's one, two, three squares out. She goes here. That's one, two, three. She won't be able to make it. If she goes here, one, two, three. If she goes here, she can lightning bolts in. That's about it. Well, this is difficult. 
Come the fuck on! Fucking three fucking misses! Fuck off! Well, we lost that because Caitlin, or whatever her name is, missed. Oh, thank goodness the block. We might still be in it, chat. Who's going next? This guy, so Lightning bought him again. Good work, Mai. Mai's the only one who's pulling. Oh no, this guy's pulling his way as well, actually. Nice, nice, okay. Oh no, no! Oh, he blocks it, thank God. I was just about to go heal him. Oh, he can run and hide behind the rock. He's going to go get the berries. Uh, finish. Mal needs to come and hide. Oh, he can't. Okay, he's come here instead. Uh, and rotate and push him into the rock. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it. So now he shouldn't be able to reach anyone apart from her. Caitlyn, you got to dodge this attack or you're fucked. Oh, Caitlyn's still going. So this guy's next. Yeah, that guy's next. I could just move her out of the way and let the mage take the hit. That's probably the best option. Yeah, move her out of the way so she doesn't get hit. Let the mage take the hit. Please don't crit. Okay. Right. You can rotate and push him into the rock. Bazunga! That's how you do it, chat. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. They got really fucked up, but we got a load of XP for it. We got loads of good loot. We got place armor, stolen goods, four stolen goods, 20 coins, chat. That's how you do it. Look at that. They're just all completely fucked. Right, if you look at our inventory, these are worth lots of money. And then this is some seriously nice heavy armor. An extra 5 hit points, and doubles physical resistance, an extra 10 bleeding resistance. Nice. That was totally worth it. Now we need to rest. I hope there isn't any more, uh, what's it called? Oh, you've got a chance 10 of lockpicking. 7. We need to roll a 3. We're just going to lockpick. We're not going to waste a key. All you need to do is roll a three. Okay, Kaylin? Just roll a three. That's all you have to do. Yeah, baby. We did it. Kaylin gets 100 experience points. We get 500 gold, more jewelry to sell, and a minor dodge ring. Nice. I guess Kaylin deserves that for um, picking the lock. He's got dodge. Minus six dodge. Yeah, Caleb needs it. 26 dodge. Nice. We didn't waste any resources. We didn't use anything. We didn't lose anyone. We just got beast and shitless. But we are done, chat. We managed to get there, I think. Finally, the group reached their destination. In front of them stood a giant fortress, an old abandoned em Emprian fortress that had been claimed by the Adventurer Guild several years ago. It now acts as a base of operations for the Adventurer Guild. In front of the fortress stands an old familiar face. Yay! 400 experience! Quest completed! Those are all the goodies we got, chat. Everyone gets a ton of experience as well for finishing. Very nice. Did you know you can specify a specific path while moving adventures on the battle map? Hold control during the move action to set waypoints. That is really useful to know. Thank you for telling me that. Control. Oh, hello. Hello there. Sexy lady. Press any buttons, continue. 
Oh, great. It's her. Who's her? This is Fiola, my friend's wife. Oh, she and I have an agreement. I can't stand her. She can't stand me. So you really came back, Caesar. Fiola, I see you're still here. I was sure that by now you'd be already back in your swamp hut and brewing some children in an iron cauldron. <laughs> Duh, no condolences to your fucking friend's wet wife, widow, at this point. No condolences at all, just straight to the insultation. I love it. Charming as ever, I see. I guess anything that grew older is your exterior. <laughs> I still can't believe you'll become the new guild master. What is my husband thinking? What was my husband thinking? He's dead now. He's, he's your ex-husband. Sorry, love. It's like a nightmare. You can help me get rid of mine by going back to the underworld you call home. And just leave the guild, which my husband has spent his life to raise, to somebody who I'm sure has done nothing worthwhile in the last ten years? I think not. You want to go, bitch? <laughs> Try me! <laughs> Whoa there, you two. Whoa there, you two. We're, we're here to greet the new guildmaster, not to start a fight. And who are you? Hello, guildmaster. I'm Falcon, one of the instructors of the Adventuring Guild. I was asked by Fiola here to accompany her in this meeting, saying that it would be troublesome if the two of you were alone. Yeah, she's not wrong. But I didn't quite expect this. Caesar and I share a history. Caesar was a friend of my late husband, but the two of us never exactly saw eye to eye. I was too afraid that your gaze would turn me into stone. <laughs> and wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> Besides, of course, from the ugly statue that would spoil the landscape. Oh, this is brilliant. Geez, no need to underline your relationship before me. Don't we actually have more important matters to discuss? For example, welcoming the new Guildmaster of Adventuring Guild. Congratulations. Although I have to admit that this won't be an easy position to be in. Franz let us slightly hinted at it. How bad is it? I don't know how much you have heard, but the Adventuring Guild has been growing, going downhill for some time now. We lost most of our reputation and contacts. Oh, jeez. All of our seasoned adventurers have left us and there's not much gold left to keep the guild going. Honestly, it's a mess. Well, what the fuck's been going on? That does sound bad. That's why you're here. The former guildmaster was certain that you could bring the Adventurer Guild back on its feet. Where do we start? My suggestion would be to start recruiting new adventurers. You can usually find them in the tavern. How about we pay it a visit right now? Current mood even. Plus 50, I know nothing and I expect nothing. Minus 10, the last quest was hard work, but at least I succeeded for five days. Oh, and that's her mood is disgruntled because she's got that permanent mood debuff because she's a pessimist. That really does have a big impact on them then. Max HP reduced to 10. Injured, heavily injured for 10 days. They're heavily injured. Whoa, the HP is reduced to 10. Ice. Yikes. Okay, so getting them messed up in that last battle may not have been worth it in the end after all. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll find out. Unknown. Unknown what? Do you, is that the name of our city? The name of our guild? Can we rename it? Visit those who have fallen. I like the fact that the memorial is unlocked immediately from the start. <laughs> Everything else has been locked and you can't go to it apart from where you're supposed to go. Apart from the memorial, just in case you lost anyone in the tutorial opening sequence. That's really fucking funny. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, right, let's just go to the tavern then. Can I have another one? You already had enough, you lightweight. Well, who, hick, who are you calling a lightweight? I'm not as thick as you drunk I am yet. Hick. Yeah, sure. Oh, hi, Fiona. Hi, Falcon. Is this... Hello, Tabby. That's right. This is, unfortunately, the new guild master. Unfortunately? Don't mind them. Just introduce yourself. Hello, guild master. I am Tabby, and this tavern belongs to me. This is where all adventurers go when they need to relax. If you think someone had a hard day, just send them to me and I'll make them drink until they're too intoxicated to even remember why they were sad in the first place. And isn't that just what all alcohol is for? 
I would have phrased it differently, but yeah, sometimes the former guildmaster would buy drinks for adventurers to raise morale. It's actually quite efficient. My advice is to keep that tradition and occasionally buy a drink or two for the adventurers. Anything else I should keep in mind here? As I already said before, usually new adventurers who would like to join the guild will also arrive here. In the past, we would get adventurers from all over the world wanting to join us, many who have already made a name for themselves. Nowadays, however, the only people who come here are people who are too inexperienced and too weak to make it on their own. Oi! I heard that! So what? If you have a problem with them, with that, then prove him wrong. Uh, that's what I thought. Jesus, they're fucking strict here. <laughs> anyway, we should start looking for adventurers here, at least enough to field a full party of four on a quest. Okay, got it. So you need four to do a quest then. That's good to know. Hey, how about me? Blah. You're hired. <laughs> uh, as I said, lightweight. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, the writing in it is really good. I'm quite liking it. What's this? Is this she wants to talk to me about something? Here for a drink, Guildmaster? Oh, I see. It's, it's either end the conversation or ask her about herself. Did you used to be an adventurer? No, why would you think that? It just seems very likely in a place like this. If you really want to know, I joined the Adventurer Guild because of my husband. He was an adventurer and he was also one of the first adventurers to join the Adventurer Guild. When he joined the guild, I opened the tavern here to help the former guildmaster. It was my way of staying close to him because my family used to run a tavern in Cragmond. I had no trouble with running one in the guild. Sure, adventurers can be a rougher bunch than most, but my husband always had a knack for reminding people not to cause any trouble in my tavern. You say he was an adventurer. Oh, he never got to retire. That's so sad. But well, I guess that was never unexpected. That's the life of an adventurer for you. One day you were making plans for the future together, and the next day there is none to be had. Aww. I see. There's no need to feel sorry for me, Guildmaster. It happened a long time ago. Right now, I'm more concerned about people paying their tabs. Still don't want that drink? Oh, yeah, still don't want that drink? That's all, thank you. There's always a seat free for you here. Cool, good to know you. That's sad, though. Oh. Mood gained per drink, 20. 200 gold per... What the fuck is in this drink? Is it fucking gold... Schlager or something? Gold Schlagern. Oh, man. Jeez, Louise. 200 for one drink. Okay, adventure limit, 3 out of 20. Oh, you can have 25, okay. Well, this is looking terrible already. We've got two... Are these mages or healers? They must be healers. That looks like a cleric robe rather than... That's interesting. It doesn't tell you what their ability is. Not their ability, like what, what class they are. That's so weird. Why does it not tell you what class they are? You have to guess what class they are based on their picture. That's interesting. Weird. Okay. So we've got a priest here who is sadist plus... Thif yeah, we don't care about that. Yeah, we don't want that for a priest. Nope, not want that. Lazy. Dexterity growth, endurance growth and initiative. Fast learner. That's good. Born leader. But she doesn't have any particular stars or anything great. No, okay. Fast learner on this guy is good. Strong. We don't care about that on a mage. Glutton. That's not great. And we don't care about endurance growth on a mage. So we don't want that. Regenerate 10%... As SP, 10% what? I think that means we generate 10% more SP. So that's good on a mage. Oh, we don't want that on a mage though. No, we don't want that. You don't want huge on a mage either. So he's shit. Roth. Permanent positive mood buff. That's good, I suppose. Optimist. Endurance growth is always good for health. Why not? And he's a dubious upbringing. So he's a rogue. So this is a really good rogue. He's got good endurance. Good dexterity. Okay, so Roth's a possible candidate. 
Hazel. I don't know what Hazel is. But she's got four traits. So she's pretty. Okay, cool. Fast learner as well. That's good. Optimist. Pretty fast learning optimist. And she's magically talented. Okay, if she's a mage, she's fucking good. But I don't know what she is. I don't know what class this is. It could be anything. It doesn't look like an archer. These look like the archers down here. She's either... A, I think she's a rogue, which would suck. I wish she was, she was a healer or a mage or something. Anyway, Rod. Intelligence growth. No, we don't want that on willpower and minus bravery and minus intelligence. Cancels out the organized. So he's organized, but he's dumb. <laughs> okay. Alyssa... Got Oblivious. No, Oblivious is bad. Well, actually, we don't care, but it's not good for them. Rational. Oh, he's a drunkard. We don't want drunkards. This guy's a drunkard as well. Selfish. Not good. Jeez, what a bunch of garbage. All right, well, we're going to hire this rough, uh, this Hazel person because she's the only one with half-decent perks or traits or whatever. And we're going to find out what class she is. Oh, details. There we go. Class warrior. Okay, reputation 9999999. That's obviously a mistake. Ah, oh, she's a warrior. Okay, so that's how you find out. You go to details. This guy's a rogue. We know that. Yeah, okay. So let's check what warriors do. Oh, I recruited her by mistake. <laughs> I pressed recruit to save details. Well, we've fucking hired her then, in that case. Um, yeah. And let's see if there's a healer, if one of these guys are healers. Priest, yeah, priests must be healers. Priests do not have many options to deal damage to their enemies. They excel in supporting their comrades, be it by healing their wounds, granting them courage for the fight. Okay, so yeah, we've got a healer here. Intelligence, wisdom, and willpower. Sadist. We don't want that. We don't want reduced endurance growth either. And we don't want sword skills dealing 10% more damage. That doesn't matter on a mage. What about Maya? Lazy. Texterity and initiative. That doesn't matter, but plus 20 endurance. I'll take that. That's fine. Fast learner's good. And a born leader. Okay. So this is actually quite a good combination. It's not brilliant on the lazy. But we're going to recruit her as well as our healer. And that's it. We're just going to recruit those two. Good. You found a group that's willing to work with you. Congratulations. It's much easier than having to deal with you. So what's next? Now that we have the adventurers, we should be able to do quests again. But before we send the adventurers on their first quest... For the Adventurer Guild, we should make some preparations. Usually the guild provides the adventurers with items for their adventures. A few potions, bandages, antidotes, etc. Unfortunately, the guild currently has nothing in their inventory. Where do we get more? We still have a merchant here who's selling his supplies, but he is a bit... Well, it doesn't matter. You'll see for yourself. I don't like how that sounds. Well, I guess it's time for you to meet me, Mekan. So you have to meet the merchant. Let's just take a look at this chick first, Hazel. Because I, I never managed to look at her properly. I just hired her. So she's a warrior. What do warriors do? Capable warriors who can deal great physical damage and are sturdy enough to stand on the front lines. Okay, that's probably good then. Great swords. Okay, so she's a two-hander. Sharpen weapon... 20% fat, yeah, more damage, first aid, and encourage. Nice. So, dodge. So, strength and endurance are the best ones for them. Strength for damage, obviously. Endurance for lots and lots of health. And what does she have again? She has increased the amount of BP gained through this adventure by 35%. That's good. Fast learner. That's really good. Because that's just everything growth. Permanent mood debuff just makes her happy all the time. And intelligence, magical attack, and SP. Okay, so that last one doesn't matter. Being magically talented. Although 10% extra SP is quite useful. 
and more intelligence growth just means that she'll end up with more SP, so she'll be able to do special abilities quite a lot. I reckon she's going to be quite powerful. Hazel's going to be quite good, I reckon. Oh, there we go. Change name. Change appearance. So dismiss, pay bonus, change appearance, change biography, change name. Let's change her appearance to what we... Oh, custom portraits. These are like your own portraits. Ah, oh, so you can literally just uh, hi bring a picture of anything you want in here. That's so cool. Oh, nice. And you can change her hair as well. This is really cool. I'm loving the 21... Uh, I think there was a Chun-Li one in there somewhere, wasn't there? Didn't I see? There you go. Yeah, we'll have Chun-Li here. Chun-Li has black hair, right? Yeah, she does, I think. If I remember her. Uh, and then face. Oh, they've even got different faces. That's so cool. There's 12 of them. <laughs> she looks like an anime character. Well, she... Uh, I mean, obviously, it's an anime character. What I meant was... That one in particular is so anime. It's ridiculous. Uh, I quite like this one. That's going to be cool. That's what she's going to look like. And we can change the skin colour. Yeah, she is fit. Alright, custom portrait. Accept. And we're going to change her name to Chun-Li. Chu li No, Chun-Li. Does it have a hyphen? I can't remember if it's like that or if it's just Chun space Li. Whatever. That'll do. Do you want to automatically replace all new occurrences of the old name with a new name? Yes. So Chun Li's the only named character because she's the only one who's gonna. Oh, that's so cool! It even changes it in her biography. That is awesome. This game is so cool. Okay, so we got Chun Li, who is gonna be a really good two-hander. In fact, I'm gonna change her name. I'm gonna put in brackets uh, what her role is. Two-hander. So I remember Chun Li two-hander. Yes. Uh, close that. This is our priest. Change name. It's just going to be priest. Because it's a cool name. Uh, da, 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 da. This is Garrett is going to be our tank. Because he's just really tanky. But I don't like the clumsy, but I can't do anything about it. Change name to tank. Tank man. The mage is really good, isn't she? Intelligence growth. No. Oh, no, she's actually not. So we don't care if she dies. So change name to expendable. Expendable. And this is the shit rogue, isn't she? Yeah, we want her to die, actually. We want this rogue gone. Kaylin needs to fuck off. Because she's fucking pessimistic. That's always going to be a problem. And the love's pain means she's always going to take more damage. Uh, we'll just change her name to Misery, Misery Guts. So I don't care if Misery Guts or the Expendable die. Uh, yeah, good. Right, let's go to the merchant then. Oh, cool. McCann. This is our supplier. His name is McCann. A name, a name I'm pretty sure is made up. It certainly is! I see we're already off to a great start. Care to explain? After the guild has started to lose its reputation, fewer and fewer merchants were willing to do business with us. Then suddenly a very suspicious stranger appears. That would be me! And he offered to become our supplier now that all other merchants have cut their contact with us. He never showed us his face, never told us where he came from, or why he even wants to support the Adventurer Guild. So, all the red flags then. <laughs> but beggars can't be choosers! And you, my dear customers, are very much beggars right now! And I'm the philanthropist who is holding you up. So you're doing the sound of generosity then? Oh, no, 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 no! The actual reason is completely different from that! 
And you're not going to tell us, are you? Exactly. You're just as insightful as you look. I mean, even if you are a reason, even if I told you a reason, how could you possibly know I'm telling the truth? For all you know, I could be a big bad evil guy and this is all part of an unnecessarily elaborate plan to destroy everything you love and care about. <laughs> Lighten up, dude, Guildmaster. I'm joking, of course. I miss the old Guildmaster. <laughs> he actually laughed when I told him that. <laughs> Despite all of uh, whatever that was, there was never been a problem with the wares McCann brought us. Quite the opposite, in fact. I guess we have no choice but to keep relying on you then. Thank you, Guildmaster. You will not regret this. Or will you? Joke, joke. Ha 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 Okay. What do you need today, Guildmaster? Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Guildmaster. How can I be of service? McCann. So how old are you? After two millennia, I stopped counting. What's your real name? It's a word that cannot be pronounced in any known language. Are you human? If I were, would I be wearing all these clothes that cover up my skin? Was any of that remotely true? No. <laughs> Good talking to you, Guildmaster. Anything else you'd like to say? <laughs> I like him, he's cool. As always, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> That's very cool. Okay, so we can sell stuff, I'm guessing, to him. What do these do? Uh. Hold control to buy or sell units. Tell it, uh, buy or sell in 10 units at once. Okay. So we've got 3,540. We've got an uncommon chess key, a rare chess key, an epic chess key, and a legendary chess key. Potion of Keen Senses. Plus 15 Bravery. I think I'm going to buy that. Chemical ingredient, alchemical ingredients, herbs and potions, wood. Yeah, so we don't have anything to sell. I guess you just get the money for all the stuff that you um, find. Like the stolen goods and the portraits and statues and shit that you find, you must automatically sell at the end of the instance and just get it turned to cash. Water skin. Yeah, we're going to buy the 15 bravery. Have the following two items. Two bandages, two antidotes, two healing potions and two mana potions. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Done. Now there is still one place you also need to know of. The temple. Sometimes people will get injured and need only time to heal. But time is luxury you cannot always afford. Yes, unfortunately. But the temple can help us with that. How about we also give it a visit today? Okie dokie. So we have a temple in the Adventurer Guild. Are you sure you want to step foot in here? Aren't you afraid of turning into ashes? <laughs> of course not. Unlike you, I'm not a faithless heathen. <laughs> you should be more worried that the gods don't smite you because you defile this place with your presence. I would pray for your soul if you had one. You two should be more worried whether the gods would be offended by your bickerings in this place of all places. Oh, Nora. Hello, Nora. Oh, hey, Nora. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, mister. Why is it there's always a smoking hot nun? And of course, you too, Mrs. Fiola. If you'll excuse me, I have something to do. She left rather quickly. Hello, Fiola. Hello, Falcon. Hello, Eden. We were actually looking for you. Oh, is that so? Then I'm happy to be here. How can I help? 
We wanted to introduce you to the new guildmaster. Guildmaster, this is Eden. He is in charge of the temple here and is also an, uh, an, an training instructor for the guild. Also a training instructor for the guild. Eden, this is our new master, Caesar. Oh, so you're Caesar. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. It's just I heard a lot about you. You did? What did Fran tell you? It wasn't the former guild master. It was Fiola. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Isn't it obvious that you consult a priest if the devil haunts your nightmares? Don't worry, Guildmaster. Of course, I know Fiona was probably exaggerating. You seem to be a very touchy subject for her. I don't even want to know. <laughs> you really don't. Cough, cough. Moving on. As we told you before, sometimes adventurers will need to be sent out again before they're ready. In those cases, Eden can help us. Usually, healing magic is only capable of giving temporary relief. When adventurers use healing magic or healing potions on the field, they will still need to recover naturally when they come back. But we priests from the church G Ganenta are specialised in the art of healing and are capable of a ritual that can forcefully recover all injuries. I'm familiar with that process. It's not a great feeling. Unfortunately, it isn't. Having the body mend itself is rather a painful process. Therefore, it shouldn't be used too often. Otherwise, your adventurers will be less than thankful. Yeah. Let's talk to him. Blessings upon you, Guildmaster. How can I help? Let's find out about Eden. How long have you been part of the Adventurers Guild now? I'd say about eight years or so. Why did you join? Because I believe in the good the Adventurer Guild can do. What a strange thing to say about adventurers. No, that sounds about right. I used to feel the same, but I still remember the day the former Guildmaster came to us and asked for our help. Adventurers need it, never had a good reputation with the church. They were only known as people who do anything for money and sometimes were as big of a problem as bandits and monsters. But the former guildmaster seemed different. He told us about his adventurer guild, how he wanted it to be something that could help people. He believed that the guild could provide help to the common people in a time where more and more people resort to banditry and monsters roam unhindered into human territory. He also believed that the guild could also provide a chance for adventurers to be more than what they were currently known for. Honestly, to us it sounded more like he wanted to create a guild for heroes. It sounded so unbelievable and many at that time had their doubts, but not me. I don't know what it was, but what he said re resonated with me that day and I volunteered to join the Adventurer Guild as representative. Unfortunately, not many of my brothers and sisters followed me. They doubt that a guild compromised of adventurers could ever do any good. Seeing the state of the current guild, maybe the doubters were right. I disagree, Guildmaster. Maybe the guild has declined, but remember that before that it uh, remember that before that it has done what it has promised to do. No, I don't think that's language made. I don't think that sentence made sense, but whatever. In these eight years, I have seen adventurers do more good and protect more lives than anyone would have expected from them. How else can I help? That's all. May Ganenenta Ganenta bless you. Okay, so for the same amount as it costs to buy them a drink, we can heal them to max for 200, but it, it'll lower their mood. I don't want to lower the mood or pay 200, so for the moment we'll leave it. Now we should have everything ready for the adventurers to start their first official quest for the Adventurer Guild. For now, the quests we get aren't much. But hopefully, when our reputation starts to get better, there will be more and better paying quests available. From here on out, the future of the Adventure Guild is in your hands. Don't screw this up. <laughs> okay. So you need four adventurers. We've got one, two. But then the others are all injured. So we need to hire someone else, actually. Let's just take a look at the available quest. Explore quest three... Collect items in a cave. Does green mean it's easy or something? Or is that just the background colour of the icon for it? Does that just happen to be the background colour? Let's see. Recommended level 1. 
Quest length short. Two supplies for adventure, a location in a cave. We have to collect three rare mushrooms. We'll get all this as a reward. Well, this has the most XP, the most money, the most stuff that you get. I say we go for the cave. But we need to get more... We need two more people, or at least one more person. I think we want an archer, but we don't want a drunk archer, so we're going to go for the optimistic, frail... Resourceful... We're going to go for this guy, even though he's not very good. Does it say how much he costs? Wage 20. Does that mean he only costs 20 to hire? <coughs> Archers are ranged adventurers who are capable of attacking any foe on any range and are more accurate than most classes. Due to their low defensive capabilities, they prefer to attack from the back row and have tanks shield them from any harm. Well, yeah, of course. So they they need dexterity and wisdom. Okay. Forage. That's cool. So you need dexterity and wisdom, and this guy's got wisdom and seven dexterity, but his dexterity won't grow up that won't grow that much. Yeah, he's got really good wisdom. What does wisdom do? Okay, that's fine. He'll be useful at perceiving stuff and he'll have really high SP. So we'll recruit him. Change name to... Uh, what's a good archer name? The Hood? Robin Hood? <laughs> we need to change his Liz appearance. He looks utterly ridiculous. You're shaving that beard, soldier. <laughs> you look like a nonce. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're definitely changing his appearance. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll change him to one shot. Whoops. See if we can make him into a sniper. Change appearance. Right, we're just going to randomize it so he looks a bit better than he did before. Whoa, that guy looks cool as shit. I hate the mustache though. Get rid of the mustache. Can we get rid of the mustache? Facial hair. Yeah, we can. I didn't even notice that up here. I guess we were only doing women before so they wouldn't have had facial hair. <laughs> Some of these are fucking awesome. Oh ho ho. That beard suited him. That beard really suits him with that hair. I don't know why. That looks good. No, I think that beard is the best one for him. Where is it? Oh, actually, I don't mind that. It looks ridiculous on the portrait, on the actual icon, though. That looks good. We need to change the care color. Uh, care color? The hair color. Oh, hair. Oh, we can make him old and grey. That looks good. Whoa, you can change the colour of his eyes. Didn't know that. That's really cool. I like the pink, actually. The pink looks good. I think the pink looks the best. Yeah, we'll go with pink. That looks really good. I thought you could change the colour of his outfit. Facial, hair, hair, face, colour. Okay. That's really cool. He looks much better than he looked before. So you've got one, two, three, and I think we'll take the tank guy. Just His max health is 52. It's just going to be reduced to 26, so he's got half health. Do we want to take... I don't care too much if he dies because he's not the best tank, because he's clumsy. So I think we're going to take the tank at, at half health, even if he dies. 
or do we just force the healing on him and take him full health, or do we just hire another tank? I didn't check how much it costs to hire him, actually, so we're going to do a test and then hire another tank. We've got 2,740, so if it just costs their wage to hire them, then it sh should be, oh, this should just be 20. Or does it not cost anything and then you just pay their wage next time you pay them? I think that's it. 2740. What do we want? We don't want... We don't want him. Rational. I don't want the drunkard in particular. Minus dexterity, wisdom and growth don't and dodge don't matter on a tank, so that's fine. Bravery. He's got minus 5 accuracy again though because of the fucking drunkard. Can we get rid of that? All right, we'll get this guy because they're going to be really brave. So, yeah, so it doesn't cost any gold to recruit uh, uh, an adventurer. It just increases the amount that you have to pay when you pay them. It just increases their salary. So we're going to check on Alyssa. This bitch is... She's not particularly good at anything, but she's very brave. She's our bravest person, I think. Everyone else is like bravery one or two. Or... Apart from the expendable priest. We don't care about that. So this is going to be... The brave. She can look like that. That's fine. I don't really mind. Okay, so we're going to start the cave. We are going to take... Oh, so you can... Oh, you can only take four. The maximum you can take is six. All right, good to know. Uh, where have we got... Where's the brave? So the brave is going in. Chun-Li's going in. One-shot's going in. Priest is going in. What's this? Collection of basic healing spells for novices. Okay, this is their abilities. Okay, I'll look at those when we have their turn. So what do we have? Party inventory. Um, oh, I want to give this to someone. Plus 15 bravery. We'll give it to the brave to make her even more brave. I want that armor on someone else. Probably the brave. How do I, um, don't dismiss. How do I cancel that? Hang on. Cancel, right. Accepts. Oh, let's just do it actually out here. Let's just do this out here. Where's his inventory? There you go. Take that. Swap that for that. Close. You can get the good armor. Yeah, much better. Do, 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 do. The Brave. Chun-Li. One shot. Priest. Okay. We need... Um, probably going to use the shovel. A bandage would be good. A healing potion. A mana potion. That's it, right? Oh, and supplies. Plus 10 supplies is 200. How much? They used 6. 6 is the most we can do on each thing. So 6 times 2 is 12. We want multiples of 6, basic, basically. So 18, 24 we want. So... There's no point in taking... Uh, 20, so we'll take 18. There's any, there's no more, so we'll take 18. 17? 18, yeah. 18, okay. Ah, back row, eh? Probably want that, something like that. Yeah.
Oh, that's interesting. Range skills get an accuracy penalty if you're surrounded by enemies. Try to keep your archers away from the enemy. Right, chat. The time has come for me to go to the loo to get myself another drink. I'll be right back in a few minutes. Please don't go anywhere. I'm really enjoying this one.
right guys, I'm back. I've got about 20 more minutes before I need to depart, so let's get this stream underway. Collect items, recommended level 1. Sure, recommended supplies per adventurer 2. Okay, so we only needed about 8 supplies and I've got fucking 17. 18. We've got enough for 3 rests, so 3 camps. So yeah, collect 3 rare mushrooms, that's enough for 1 each. that thing. Oh fucking hell, a trap. So you do get traps, that's really cool. Oh, you can disarm it. We need a dexterity roll. We need a one, we can't fail. Okay, good. So you get experience points. I wonder if we get any parts or anything like that for um, for disarming them. Just XP, I think, and he can't fail. So we might as well disarm as many traps as we can to get all the XP. There's a mushroom that we need. We need a four. No, we need a seven. Eight, sorry. Eight's pretty hard. Well, not pretty hard, it's about half, yeah. Good. Oh god, what the fuck is that? Oh god, stay away from it! I think we want to avoid combat with it. It's chasing us, run! Oh god, it's so ugly! Oh thank god, it lost us. No then. Party meet a group of young shabbily armed people who didn't look like adventurers. They said they were from a nearby village and were looking for a treasure that according to a legend was hidden somewhere in this cave. Party looked at the villagers and knew that they wouldn't last long in this place if they were to continue. Try, yeah, try to tell them to turn back, sorry them to turn back. Oh, you can't fail either, good. Yeah, we want them to turn back because we want the treasure for ourselves, chat. One shot told them they would probably die before they could ever lay their eyes on the treasure. He counted all the ways they could perish in this place, giving them horrific, horrifyingly detailed description for each of them. At the end, the villagers became visibly pale and decided they changed their mind and would go home. It's probably for the best. One shot replied to them. Oh, he gained three SP. Okay. They all gained morale. And we all got 200 experience for that. That's awesome. You know what? I realize I haven't saved. I haven't saved in this entire time. It's probably worth saving. Cool. Okay, treasure down here. Let's get it. Ten initiative. An initiative ring. Who wants initiative? Probably the healer. Where, where's their initiative? Initiative is nine. Initiative 13. Yeah, we want it on the healer so they get nice and early and get heals in when they're um, before anyone else can attack. As a reaction or as a response, an immediate response unit. So I wonder where the uh, treasure is and if it will be obvious. Goblins, take them out, lads. Okay, what's this? What is this? Interact. Restores 50 mana. Okay, cool. So we can use mana as much as we want. Is it mana or SP? That is mana, right? SP is mana. Restores 50 of it as well. We don't even have... Oh, 50%. Okay. Right, so what skills does this guy have? Shoot. Just a normal shot. Long shot. Increases the range by one, I think. If that's four squares, that's three, yeah. So you can increase the range by one. And does more damage. An aimed shot. I guess that just has more accuracy. Yeah, accuracy 110. Okay. Well, you're going to wait, obviously. Fucking archers are shooting at us already. So what does this do? Caution. Increase accuracy and dodge by 20 of anyone in a one-tar radius. 
increase accuracy of dodge by 20 of anyone in the one tile radius. So all this around here gets um, increased accuracy of dodge. That's really good to know. Priest, what have you got? You've got magic missile heal. Restores seven, five to seven hit points. Cure poison. She's got 37 magic as well. That's good to know. She can cure poison and cleanse the mind to remove stun. Oh, whoa, that's really good. Okay. So heal takes five to seven. You can magic missile him. I wonder if cover's a thing in this game. I wonder if cover is like a thing. Like if she's behind here, they can't see and shoot her. I don't know. Let's find out, I suppose. Slash normal attack, power strike is just increased damage, and cleave is obviously a like a hits a row. Yeah, hits like two or three enemies. Uh, I want to shield bash and stun it. I'm not going to be able to kill it this turn, so I want to lock it in place. Lock it in. Long shot does more damage. Aim sh no, sorry. Yeah, aim shot does more damage, doesn't it? And he's got plenty of SP, so yeah, do it. Good work, one shot. Okay, so I was okay. Cover isn't a thing in this. Like I just wondered. She just got shot. No problems. Okay, so he's now good to go. You're only going to be able to move to there and attack him, so you can attack someone else. In fact, I want you away from these archers to come over here and just normal shot this guy. Nice one, Chun Li. Good miss, good dodge, even. Uh, focus fire, come here and attack this guy. Again, focus fire, so nail this one. I need to heal now. Uh, Chun Li, move to there and get a cleave off. Oh, I missed one of them. That's annoying. Good dodge, good dodge. Move up so you're in range of. Actually, come here so you can get the crystal. Because she hasn't used any SP. Oh, I should have moved here and boshed him into him. That was stupid. Is it right? Yeah, it's right with that. Yeah, get all your magic back. She doesn't have a Bosch. Just normal attack for the kill. I can tell I'm going to like Chun Li.
Aha, missed me, fool. Go for the kill. Nice, 62% kill. Good work, one shot. I like it. I should have moved him out of range. Oh, he missed anyway. Good. Men are fighting well, dodging and hitting and yeah, it's all, everything's... Oh, I miss. Oh, he got an extra attack. Why did he get an extra attack? Is that because of the relationship? I'm not sure what happened there. I attacked him and for some reason he got an extra attack as well. I don't know why. But I'm not complaining. It's always nice. Oh, now they're, now they're missing. I just praised them. That's so typical. Everyone's missing. No one can hit anything. Uh, you can just move up and magic missile him. Uh, one second chat. My phone's going. I'll be right back in just a second. Please don't go anywhere. chat uh, turns out my appointment's been moved up a bit which is why I had to take the phone call so we're just going to finish up this battle and then I'm going to have to skedaddle unfortunately oh one shot coming through for us in the end again and just annihilating with the next annihilating that little goblin fucker only 10 gold for that encounter all right guys so that's it for this morning's stream I was hoping to get a couple of uh, or a bit longer in like a couple of two and a half hours but my appointment's been moved up this morning, so I'm going to have to skedaddle. Uh, leave it, you guys there, unfortunately. Which is a shame, because I'm really enjoying this. So we're going to get back into this uh, again as soon as I can. I'll probably be back later this afternoon with a different stream of something else, though, guys. So feel free to join me there for that. I know it's Easter, but I'm not doing anything today but streaming. Hopefully, I'll see you all for some... I'll see you all there for that later in the afternoon. If not, I'll see you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sawe till next time, guys.